Alright, I'm just going to update a new video on Press Shot 1.4. Now, this came out maybe a week before I, I released this video. So, a week or two. So, just enough time for me to get a look at it and make sure it's all working. So, there are problems with it. On some sites, you can have problems installing this due to te technicalities, which you wouldn't have with the previous Press Shot, but... This is just an overview of exactly what you get in the new version. So, what I've done is I've opened four tabs. Um, these first two are Press Shot 1.4, so the first two on the left, and then these other two are the last version of Press Shot before 1.4, which is, um, I believe, 1.37. But I'm just going to be going over the main differences and obvious changes and just maybe ways of getting used to exactly where anything has moved jumping between the two versions. So the first thing to look at is the front of the star. Now this is press shot 1.4. You'll notice by default we have some extra languages. You're not exactly missing these, but they're now installed by default. So as the last one, you've only got the three main, which is American and French and Spanish. Whereas this one, you have now have five defaults. And if you just scroll down, there's no no other noticeable differences apart from our stars, which is a new module. As you can see. That, that's the only difference between the two. No, the extra space, that's just from me having so many products in the feature products module. But, so, the big major difference is in the dashboard, which is the first page you get when you log into the back office. You can see, there's quite a lot of difference, considering how how much information is on this, the normal press shop dash dashboard compared to 1.4 because they've <coughs> oh excuse me that there's now a video going through how to do some basic things on there by default which you can hide um some basic things which you can do just from quick access but obviously the more visible down here um and we've got a nice little um warning system here of general site stuff like if you need to fix anything um, statistics and it, it looks like more professional now in a graph as well as the best statistics and down here we have check payments and on the side you've also got they've also put the most useful links which is the user guide the forums and the add-ons which is always a good place to start, as well as the new uh, news section now with basically links to the blog and everything, and just a random tip. So dashboard's a lot more useful now. They've put a lot more features in. Um, if I just switch between the two, you'll notice that, especially if you're used to the old version of Press Shot, you'll notice the tabs at the top look very different. Well, not extremely different, but obviously the shape and the um, just the sli a slight change in look, even though this is the default back office theme. Um, I believe this was for the reason they've done it like this is to basically make it faster. Because if you notice at the bottom as well, they've now put the. Um, some four links and the load time compared to where it was just this at the bottom before. And if you just quick quickly look at the load times, it actually this press shop 1.4 loads quicker than the 1.3. It's only by half a second, but that's still quite a considerable amount to say this version's got even more features in it. So, you can see, you know, this dashboard has loads more stuff on it than the last one. It actually loads quicker. So, 
that's the dashboard. Also, you notice at the top we've got a, a straight link to the shop and my preferences. And you don't actually have that on here, which is, I thought one thing they were missing is, well, it wasn't necessarily missing because we were in quick access, but you'd have thought that there were a, a link somewhere near the top to go straight to your shop rather than clicking the quick access and obviously to put it there now, as well as some preferences for your employee account. So if you just click on it. And it's just some basic stuff. Um, back office colour. See, it just changes this, with this default theme. It changes it just the background colour. Um, they've now got this new system where um, the old languages used to be based on um, wherever you were located. There were a, a language to cover that area. But Press Shop now does an idea of um, you might live in an area where there's a common language, but that don't necessarily mean you speak that language, as there might be areas, well, areas that have multiple languages. So that's choice. That's why you have the language in brackets now. Um, now you have back back office themes, which can show you quickly. So. The one people are most familiar with is old school, which is basically the themes, the theme you kind of used to with 1.3 with the slight changes of the, um, just the tabs and just this, these two general lakes and a little shift around, but the other themes are just designed to be, look similar, but just a bit more flashy, just to kind of go, go with the, the more modern look they're going for now. As you can tell by this um, update message, just made it look a little more modern as well as the tabs and the sub tabs that now stretch fully across on this one. It just makes everything pop out a bit more. So, just go into preferences again. And the other one is origins, which is it's pretty much the same as the flash turtle, it sets different. Um, different tabs, and you get the the old style press shop um, menus and stuff, which is is just basically a mix of the two themes that I just showed you a second ago. And there's a new thing, a UI mode. What basically this is, user interface. They're basically talking about these tabs here. Um. And you can see there's two options. Um, this basically means, with it click on tabs, to get to these submenu items of any particular tab, normally you have to click to the tab, and it redirects you to a page where you can click those tabs. But with this new option now, hover on tabs, if I just save that, you can now just hover, hover, over hover over a tab and the links will pop up for that. So that's pretty that's pretty useful. It's definitely a lot quicker now. Just gonna change back to old theme. So those are some general new things. Another useful thing, if I just go to edit a product, you can just see the new um, style again as well. Um, you can see there's a lot more options now. Um, one thing I had to do in a module recently was cut off the prices for certain products for some reason. Um, if I just click on, sorry, it's this tab. Just to show this price thing, if I just click show price as off, ah, not working. I 
Ah, that was just a small glitch. It doesn't... You can cut off the price, but you have to cut off it being available to order. Operators online only. But with these new conditions, obviously. Um, I'll just refresh that page. You can see there's no longer a price anymore. Now, th this might not seem that useful to some people, but it's it's useful in certain situations, obviously not most, if you're... The main idea of it is basically if you're selling... If you're not just using a normal store, let's say you're using an app store, like, Press Shop Add-ons is a good example. If you're selling a module, but you just want to provide a link to it, so you want them to buy it through Press Shop Add-ons. You don't want to show the price because you want all that information there. You can just redirect them. So, change stats a bit easier now. A condition option. Um, just generally put stuff close together which you might want to access quicker. Still very close to Press shot 1.3 kind of style with everything laid out. Um, and now I've got these extra information in brackets. Um, so, you can see the normal, just compare the same one. Obviously, there's not as much information here. Just general extras and a bit more of a clean up and offer you more to do. And if we go to employees, modify. See, I got that same menu I got before. But obviously, with 1.4, you get it easier. So, the next thing I'm going to show you is this, the thing that stands out in the newest one most, which is the R Stars module. Which you can see when it clicks, it directs this page, Stars PHP. And you basically get a map with all um, icons of where your stars are on a Google Maps. And a place for somebody to enter their location. And a radius and search that and obviously you don't get that on 1.3 so that's just like for the for those people that have businesses that are um, not just online based they have a typical store and they kind of do service with both this quite this kind of helps like not having to go to get a module from the shop add-ons to do it. Especially since it's a upgrade to 1.4, it's a it's a nice upgrade, so and I think that's it mainly. There were a, a few other things but I'm gonna have to go to they're gonna be need to be more in depth in this video. So I'll just leave it there. Um I'm gonna do some more videos on 1.4 soon. So subscribe and let me know any questions.